you can build an interactive tombstone for Halloween with Adafruit's RP2040 Prop Maker Feather. Happy Halloween! <laughs> This ghoulish prop features an RGB LED matrix, NeoPixels, sound effects, and a servo-controlled Raven. It uses a time-of-flight sensor to detect whenever someone gets close and triggers the sound effects, the servo, and NeoPixels. I smell children. The RGB LED matrix displays a scrolling message to warn or welcome would-be trick-or-treaters. The tombstone is an off-the-shelf styrofoam prop. It's easy to work with, so we were able to cut out channels and recesses for the wires and electronics. The RP2040 Prop Maker Feather does most of the work, and the Matrix Feather Wing makes it easy to plug in an RGB LED matrix. CircuitPython has built in support for RGB matrices using the Display I.O. library. The code features adjustable parameters, so you can customize just about every attribute in this project. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The Raven is 3D printed and hollow for fitting the servo and NeoPixels. The time of flight sensor breakout has a protective sticker over the sensor that'll need to be removed. The Matrix Feather Wing is set up with headers for plugging onto the bottom of the RP2040 Prop Maker Feather. The two can then be plugged into the Hub75 socket on the back of the RGB LED Matrix. A hot wire foam cutter is used to create the opening for the RGB matrix display and a piece of black LED acrylic diffuses the LEDs. The two NeoPixel buttons are wired together for adding a glowing effect to the demon atop the tombstone. The eyes are then carved out for the LEDs to shine through. A speaker is fitted into another recess with a press fit cover to keep it in place. The time of flight breakout also has an opening for the sensor with an accompanying back cover. A piece of foam core is secured to a servo horn that press fits into the head of the 3D printed Raven. An additional set of NeoPixels are wired together and fitted onto another piece of foam core with a cutout to secure the servo motor. The Raven's head is then press fitted onto the piece of foam core. Additional extension cables are used for the servo motor and NeoPixels. Pieces of black conduit is used to help keep the wires bundled together and hidden. The Feather's onboard Stemma QT port and screw block terminals make it easy to connect the various components. Everything gets powered by a 5V 4 amp switching power supply so it can haunt all night. We had a lot of fun building this project and hope it inspires you to check out Adafruit's RP2040 Prop Maker Feather in CircuitPython. <laughs> <laughs>